Critics say the Wuhan lab experiments were nonetheless risky, whether or not they fit that category. And obviously, the Chinese government is not a good faith partner. They're not allowing transparency. They're not allowing a real investigation. So as a matter of policy going forward, given that the Chinese government won't allow any real investigation, do you still think the U.S. government should collaborate with labs like Wuhan, especially on research that experts consider risky? Well, you know, Jake, if you go back to when this research really started and look at the scientific rationale for it, it was a peer-reviewed uh, proposal that was peer-reviewed and given a very high rating for the importance of why it should be done to be able to go and do a survey of what was going on among the bat population because everyone in the world was trying to figure out what the original source of the original SARS-CoV-1 was. But going forward, uh, like a peer review is looking, those are doctors and scientists looking at the work of doctors and scientists right. without kind of factoring in the fact that you have an oppressive con yeah. Chinese government uh, right. that won't allow transparency going forward, are you still sure. confident? But going forward, we are always going to be very, very careful, go through all kinds of review, including the risk-benefit ratio. So, I, w I mean, if your question, Jake, is looking forward, are going to be very careful about the research that we do? Well, we have always been very careful, and looking forward, we will continue to be very careful in what we do.